Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas. In this video, we're going to be making something called poor man's liquid nitrogen. While it doesn't get as cold as real liquid nitrogen, it does get down to minus 110 degrees Fahrenheit roughly, which is more than cold enough for most of your projects. It is considered a real cryofluid, so it is very dangerous. It does not perform the Leidenfrost effect like real liquid nitrogen does. So if you get it on your skin, it's not going to just roll off. This stuff will stick to you like glue and burn the crap out of you. So no kids and most adults probably should not try this unless they have experience handling dangerous materials. I was introduced to this process by research scientist and teacher William Beatty. He has a website with some of the most amazing articles that I've ever read regarding real science. He also has a YouTube channel with some real cool videos, including this one that you should subscribe to. The links to his website and YouTube channel are below. I'm going to be performing a condensed version of his video, which goes into more details of the science that's going on. To start, I cut the top of two plastic bottles, a 2 liter soda bottle and a water bottle. The smaller water bottle has many holes drilled in it. Glass is not recommended for this project as it can shatter from thermal shock. I used a solid steel plate and two rear earth magnets to hold the bottles in place. The outer vessel is lined with many pellets of dry ice. Next, I slowly poured 91% rubbing alcohol over the dry ice in the outer vessel. The higher the purity of alcohol, the better results you will get. Once the fog clears, there should be a nice clear gel in the inner vessel. I went out to Denise's garden and got a couple of her flowers while she wasn't happy with it. After dunking the flower in the stuff for a few seconds, it shattered like glass. I tried to also run a Stirling engine with the cryofluid alone. While it wasn't cold enough to run the Stirling engine by itself, I was able to run the Stirling engine at a much lower heat temperature on the displacer. While this literally is a very cool project, definitely want to keep kids away from it. You want to wear the proper protection. I have goggles. You want to wear gloves when you're handling dry ice and this stuff. Long sleeves in case you get splashed. Remember to subscribe to our channel and also check out the links below. I'm your host Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos. Uh -huh.